Hello and welcome back to our webcast series on the topic of plane and descriptive geometry. So in this video we're going to look at how to locate the dihedral angle between two planar surfaces. So we'll begin by first of all just having a look at what the dihedral angle actually is and then we'll take some situations or scenarios and we'll try and see how to solve um, the dihedral angle for those questions. So to first of all the dihedral angle is the true angle between two intersecting planes and it's found only when both planes are viewed as an edge view at the same time. So if we take the example of a roof sur two roof surfaces here, here we have roof surface 1 and here we have roof surface 2 at the back here. Um, instinctively we know if we want to find the true angle between the two roof surfaces well, we have to walk around at the side here and look in at the gable end of the roof. So just moving ourselves around, we can see that looking in at the gable end of the house, we can see the true angle between our two roof surfaces. And we can see both surface 1 and surface 2 are seen as an edge view. Um, this is going to give us the true angle or the dihedral angle between the two roof surfaces. And it's worth noting that this is all other views will give a fake or parent impression. So you might think you're seeing it, whatever angle you see looking from a different position will not be the true angle. Only when you see both surfaces as an edge view will you see the true or dihedral angle um, between them. So to see both planes as an edge view we must get a point view of a line that is common to both planes. And this line is known as the line of intersection. So taking our example again of our roof, the line of intersection for our roof surface here is this ridge line between the two of them. So we need to, if we see that as a point view, we'll automatically see our two surfaces as edge views. So there's a point view of that line of intersection, our ridge, and we can see giving us the dihedral angle between our two roof surfaces. Um, so that's really going to form the approach that we're going to take to uh, solve our questions. We're going to find this line of intersection first of all and then we're going to try and manoeuvre ourselves so we see it as a point view giving us an edge view of the two surfaces. Um, now when it comes to dealing with questions normally what we do is we try and simplify the question down rather than drawing the entire house here just to solve one little part of it what we do is we break the entire question down into a simpler form so usually that's going to be in the form of two triangles like so or what's known as lamina so we ignore the mainstay of the building and we just take the important parts and locate our dihedral angle for that. So that dihedral angle for our two lamina is going to be the same dihedral angle for the two roof surfaces. Only because it's triangle, we've only got three points, one, two, three, on each of the surfaces. So it considerably reduces the amount of work or effort that we actually have to do to solve the question. So let's have a look then at some examples. Here we can see our most basic example where we have two lamina. We have the lamina A, B, and C and we have A, B and D and we can see that the line A, B is the common line, the line of intersection between the two surfaces. So if we want to see the dihedral angle between these two surfaces we need to see A, B as a point view. Now we know from our previous videos if we want to see the point view of a line we must, we must first of all have the true length of it and look along the true length of it. So looking at our situation here we can actually see that looking in from the front, in our front elevation we actually have the true length. So this is the true length in our front elevation. And looking from above, because the line is neither sloping towards me or away from me, I'm looking straight at it, it's going to be a true length in our plan view. So it's a true length in both views, which means that if I want to see a point view of the line AB, I can just go and project an end view. So I'm going to look in along my line AB, my line of intersection, and I'm going to project an end view with here. So here's my end plane like so and we're going to project onto that giving us a point view of our line of intersection and giving us an edge view of the two other surfaces. So we're going to do the same in our 2D. We're going to draw a 45 degree line here from our YY line and if you note the YY line I have it coloured in blue here in elevation because this is our plane here seen looking from the front and I have a green here from below like that because that's the plane looking from above in our plan view. So even though it's one line, depending on which view you're actually looking at it from, it can represent the one plane viewing from different positions. 
So to transfer from our plan view, we need to take our um, depths and we can just transfer them across to our 45 degree line and straight up into our uh, in view. We can then take our heights across from our front elevation and that gives us our point view of our common line AB and it's going to give us our edge view of the line or the, the surfaces CD. So that's going to give us our dihedral angle between the two surfaces like that. So that's our first example. Our second example is going to be very, very similar, only in this case here, we don't have a true length of our line of intersection in each of our views. You, we can see only when we look from above will we see it as a true length down here in our plan view. So we have to project our auxiliary from the plan view this time. We won't be taking an end view. So, but the process is pretty much the same. Looking at our true length line, we want to want to look along that. So if we're going to look along our true length line, we're going to need to project an auxiliary plane this time. So in this case, we're going to project an auxiliary elevation and we're going to draw in our X1, Y1 line perpendicular to our line of sight or perpendicular to our true length line. We're going to then project our line of intersection and our two points on our surfaces to give us the edge view of our surfaces and our point view of our line of intersection. So we're going to do the same here like so. We're going to look along the line of intersection AB. We're going to transfer our heights from our elevation and mark them off of our X1, Y1 line, keeping to our 1, 2 rule that we would have seen in our previous videos. So there's the point view of our line of intersection, A2, B2. And we're going to do the same with the points D and C. So like so. And again, getting our heights from our elevation, giving us the edge view of the two planes. And now we've located our dihedral angle like so. So that's our second example. Our final example we're going to take then is what do you do if you don't have a true length of your line of intersection in either view. So here we can see A and B isn't a true length in either elevation or plan view so we're going to have to first of all project an auxiliary to get the true length of A and B. So to do that we're going to look in perpendicular to the line so we're going to take it from plan view here looking in perpendicular to it and we're going to set up our first auxiliary plane. So our first auxiliary plane is going to be parallel to the line AB or perpendicular to a line of sight. So our X1, Y1 line. So that's this plane seen from above as an edge view. So we're going to project our object onto that plane giving us the true length of our line of intersection and our two surfaces carried true as well. So we're going to do the exact same there. So A and B projected along and we're taking our heights this time from our elevation transferring it on exactly like the last example and here we have each of our points taken true there's A to B2 that's now the true length of our line of intersection so we've now found the true length so now we're ready to go and look along our true length line and so we're going to do that we're going to do a second auxiliary so we're going to look along our line of intersection we're going to project it onto a new plane, so a second auxiliary plane. This time it's going to be an auxiliary plan because we're looking at it from a slope. But the rules apply, so we're looking along our true length line. We're going to project our x2, y2 perpendicular to that. And we're going to project our image onto that plane. So we're going to project like so. True like that, so in line with our line of sight. And this time we're going back with our 1, 2 rule, back one view back two views, we're taking our distances this time from our plan view to the x1, y1 line and we're marking it off here like so. Again, giving us our point view of our line of intersection and our edge view of our two surfaces finding our dihedral angle. And these three scenarios that we're after taking here, that's pretty much all the scenarios that you're likely to encounter. So if you can have a good understanding of what you're trying to do, i.e. finding a true length line of our line of intersection first of all being able to identify our line of intersection and then getting a point view of it and really the points C and D are just been taken along for the ride really they're just been projected through with our um, line of intersection and that will give us our dihedral angle so that pretty much covers the dihedral angle and um, I'd just like to say thank you very much and keep tuning in to the videos for more information thank you very much